I tandem breastfeed my five and two year old. My dream is to let my children decide when to stop. This is a lot easier than washing dishes and bottles. There is a lot of negativity surrounding breastfeeding. Hold on, feeding my children is going to turn them into serial killers? I, don't, I can't even, I have nothing to say to that. You wanna crack the eggs? My name is Charlotte and I tandem breastfeed my five and two year old. Would you like me to help you? You wanna break it? <gasps> Can I do another one? You sure can. We can control whether or not we have positive or negative thoughts, right? I am a certified health and wellness coach. How many times you smile today, you can control that. Give it a good whack. There you go. You want to crack one, buddy? Help. Help. <laughs> my oldest is Raysiam and my youngest is Malachi. Ooh, let's keep it in there. Malachi is two. I love you so much. I love you too. Who's better at cooking? Me. Is it mommy or daddy? Um. You still? <laughs> yeah. Tell me about a typical morning in the home. Um, well, a typical morning for us is we let our bodies wake us up. We're blessed to work from home. We don't have alarms, which is a beautiful thing. Daddy? Yeah. Vegetables go to numbers. We can adjust our times to be able to sleep in. So we both sleep with our kids and we wake up around the same time. Our typical morning starts off nursing together, getting breast milk, and then going to the kitchen to cook. Ready? Slow mornings are our favorite. I always knew that I wanted to breastfeed. My experience with breastfeeding my daughter was not the easiest. She had something called torticollis, which is the shortening of the muscle in your neck. We struggled a lot and we overcame that together. But oh. After the first four months, I was doing really well and then just kept going from there. This child does not sleep, <laughs> therefore mama doesn't sleep. How did you decide to do extended breastfeeding? I had this dream of doing full-term breastfeeding where she would stop when she's ready. And I know that if the time comes where I'm ready, then we'll, of course, adjust accordingly. I really wanted another child. And as soon as I heard that it was possible to breastfeed during pregnancy and even tandem breastfeed afterwards, it's just like something clicked. I loved it during pregnancy because I didn't have to chase a toddler around. Tandem breastfeeding is when you breastfeed multiple children, generally two. In my case, my kids are three years apart. You can either breastfeed them together at the same time or one at a time. My decision to tandem breastfeed was totally a God moment because it was placed on my mind and my heart that that's something that I would be doing. <laughs> I started tandem breastfeeding the day that I gave birth <laughs> to my son. I knew that I wanted to try and to achieve a few months of it at least. This is like a guaranteed rest every day for a mom. <laughs> There's another benefit. I would love to make it more well known that the benefits of breastfeeding don't stop at six months or at one year or at two years. Mom, what? There's nutritional benefits, there's behavioral benefits, emotional, social, and cognitive. I don't believe our kids get as sick as other kids do. I think they have a closer bond because of our decision to tandem breastfeed. You know, they sit still for a while and stare at each other in the face. At the beginning, they would hold hands while they tandem breastfed. Man, that's a heartwarming moment for a mother. My dream is to let my children decide when to stop. At one point, I thought maybe he would wean before she did, <laughs> which would have been kind of wild. But I also know that when either party is ready, there needs to become a mutual understanding and agreement. But doesn't look like there's any, there's any stopping anytime soon. The current parenting style that I identify with most is secure attachment parenting. Can you hold it up? Hold it up. There you go. There, oh, can I hold that? No. <laughs> what? You respond to the needs of the child. I see green and green and green and more green. <laughs> but you also give them space to explore. Am I the umbrella holder? Yeah. Do I look like an umbrella holder? Yeah. It aligns with my, my motherly instincts. It's a balance that maybe not everyone understands or agrees with, but it works for me. How do you feel about Charlotte's recipe? I find that it works really, really well, in fact. I trust her judgment. There you go. A 
I think there's hardships with everything. The parenting is being there for our kids. I started sharing my breastfeeding journey online because there was just a lack of support and a lack of community out there for breastfeeding moms, not that I could find at the time. And I also wanted some support as my daughter had such struggles latching. The majority of my comments and encouragement that I receive is positivity, but for every positive person there seems to be a negative person. Um, <laughs> Not quite a ratio of 50-50, but there is a lot of negativity. Why do you still let your kids breastfeed at their age? It just seems unhealthy. Your kids will be too dependent. Oh, if you look up secure attachment, there's, there's a reason why we do what we do. If the kids know that their needs are met, you get a sexual pleasure from it and justify it with parenting. That's, wow. That's so sad. Sometimes I think mom gets addicted to having her breast sucked on. That's lovely. The typical, she's doing it for her benefit and not the kids. And that's absurd because they don't have the understanding or knowledge. Why should we so feed them until they're ready for marriage? <laughs> I can't even, I have nothing to say to that. There's been comments where people say, just give her a sippy cup. <laughs> and I would have say, uh, are you coming over to wash the sippy cup? <laughs> because this is a lot easier than washing dishes and bottles. A gal said, what's gonna happen when these children grow up and they look back and see these images that you've shared on your social media? You know, what are they gonna think? And I said, well, they're gonna be empowered. <laughs> That's truly how I feel about that. I haven't had anybody come up to me and try to scold me, but just some looks here and there. More, more shock than, uh, disgust. And then I get comments like, you are an amazing mom. I think it's a wonderful bond you have with your kids. You're doing a great job, mama. Oh my God. Oh yeah, <laughs> look at mama go. And if I can help just one person, then that's enough for me. I continue to share my journey because it's ever changing. I want to knock it over. And I went from feeding just one to two and it's probably the most important and beautiful thing I've done to date. <laughs> I wanna continue my journey, so if a mom wants to continue to breastfeed, I hope that my journey inspires them to do so. Look how bold that! Are you gonna knock it down? I've never known a high school kid to still be breastfeeding, or a college kid, so one day my children will stop breastfeeding and maybe go on to have children in a family of their own. I hope that they can look back on what mom did and be inspired and proud as she shared her journey with integrity and love to support other moms. Yeah.